In our previous videos, we learned how to calculate the gradient of a straight line and the gradient of a quadratic. We use tangent lines to the parabola at the point that we wanted to estimate the gradient. In this video, we use tangents to derive a rule for the gradient of a cubic. The gradient at x equals minus 2 is the gradient of the tangent. Run 1 and rise 12. The gradient is 12. The gradient at x equals minus 1 is 3 over 1, or simply 3. The tangent at 0 is a bit more difficult to visualize, but its gradient is clearly 0. Using the symmetry of this curve, it makes sense that the gradient for positive values of x is the same. At x equals 1 is 3, at x equals 2 is 12. Now, stop the video here. Can you find the link between the x coordinate of the point and the gradient at that point? Perhaps it's easier if we break it down a bit more. After all, calculus is all about breaking big problems into small ones. Minus 2 squared is 4, minus 1 squared is 1, 0 squared is 0, and so on. Can you now see the link between x squared and the gradient? It is 3 times bigger. The gradient function of x cubed is 3x squared. For more videos on gradients, take a look at this playlist, and until next week, happy learning!